Good morning everybody, it's Kim, aka Hillbilly Mystic, out here at Green Being Acres, Sister Spiral, just at the place of peace. And uh, Isaac and Annie and I have been making strawberry pie, making crust from hand. Annie's taking a little rest, she doesn't feel good over here. Our strawberries we picked ourselves, waiting for some sugar. But um, as I was coming over here to wash my hands, probably can't see it, you're being blinded by the light, I noticed something in the backyard. I'm going to take you out there to see it. Um, kind of been looking for, you know, like the mascot for the spiral, and we do have a hummingbird that comes back, and um, he's a ruby throat little guy. And um, when we started out here nine years ago, um, there were three, and now there's only one. But he comes back every year, and um, hopefully some more will come back. So as I'm taking out to the spiral, trying not to put the camera in the sun or walk too fast so that you get motion sickness, I want to take you over to a little friend that um, I've been seeing them everywhere here. And um, I've got pictures that I'll post. So let's see. Now let me get really close to it with the camera. Um, in the background there, you'll see the opening to the spiral. But I just like, I want to have this conversation with this turtle and kind of just share this conversation with you. Um, when I get back on my pie crust, I'll probably be on the floor, but that's okay. So, hey little turtle, how are you? This one is a different turtle than the one that I have pictures of from a couple of days ago. And what's really interesting about this is that I was just kind of meditating. Cooking is such a meditative art. You so zen out and it was so quiet and so silent and there was just this repetition of my fork moving over the flour over and over again and I thought, God, this is just such a wonderful, I'm just so full of peace and I'm willing and open to anything that comes to my mind, even if it's nothing at all. And really it was just, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, mash, mash, mash with the fork because I'm making the dough and I had got something on my hand and had to go wash it off. And when I looked out the window, I saw this little head peeking up. So yeah, um, thank you, turtle. never been able to sit this close to a turtle without it popping its head in a shell. I just feel so very blessed and I'm just and I'm just totally amazed. I'm kind of despite all my talking I'm speechless. about a foot and a half away from this and I don't hope the camera can get it but I mean it's, it's just amazing Feeties. Let's see if I can get a little peek picture there. A little feety picture. I'm kind of laughing. Uh, for anyone that's seen the video when animals attack, I can just kind of see myself getting closer to the little feeties, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the turtle just reaching out and grabbing my finger, and the rest of this video being me going, Oh God! Oh God! Anyway. amazing. I don't 
don't know if the camera can pick up all the sounds of nature that are around me right now. like maybe six inches from the turtle. The turtle and I are totally checking each other out. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, that's just life out here on the farm. Well, on two acres of, of land, so um, I sign off with the daisy. Much love to you and much light to you and much happiness to you.